Hello, everyone. This is Chris Burke at Morning Glory Coffee and Tea in West Yellowstone, Montana. And I'm going to take a moment to show you how we're engaging on Twitter with our followers and customers and also what we're doing with the Montana Ambassadors page to increase their their reach. Uh, so we're early adopters to, to Twitter uh, and we've built a following over the last eight or nine years to about 34,000 followers. We have a, a very good reach out into the world um, promoting both Montana and our coffees um, via cross posting from LinkedIn and Instagram and Facebook and the variety of platforms that we work with. All of those are funneled into Twitter uh, to increase content there. Twitter is more of a uh, kind of a one on one situation. Uh, it's, it's not social engagement that can be in any way uh, automated or scheduled. For us, it's when we're on, we're there and we're present and we want to be uh, dealing with uh, customers and followers that are uh, also present and active and we want to develop a trust so they know that uh, we're, we're real people uh, doing, uh, doing real things and making real products and supporting Montana uh, in the best way possible. So uh, this is our front page with our tweets. Um, if you look to the right, when you're on your uh, your main page, you will see a little place called your tweet activity. You can also find it in your profile settings uh, under analytics. So if you click on that, it's going to open up a new page. And that new page is going to, uh, it's primarily used so you advertise with Twitter. Um, but it's also a very powerful analytic that lets you know exactly what each and every one of your tweets is doing. Um, and what you can also do here is if you view the activity, you can cut and copy, go back to your original page and retweet as an original tweet um, onto, your, onto your wall. Um, and that's a good way to assess what is a good, uh, you know, tweet that grabs people's attention or uh, gets them to, to interact with you. On the right-hand side, it's very uh, interesting. It gives you engagements, so it'll tell you the rate of engagement, uh, how many people have clicked on your links, retweets, likes, replies. And on top here, um, you'll also have a little place called Audiences. And that is going to give you a basic idea of who the people are that uh, are following you. So we can look at the demographics, we can look at gender, we can look at interests, uh, household income, net worth. And there's some very powerful estimates here that tell you exactly who is following you. And that can help you and guide you into what uh, you maybe want to be posting that's going to be of interest to them. For us, it's been uh, you know, Montana as, as our brand and, and Morning Glory as our product um, that has worked well in grabbing the attention of, of this audience. Um, but the idea is that we keep growing the audience. We keep gaining more people than we lose. We keep up interest and we, uh, and we get new people looking at our product and looking at Montana, not just the same small group or uh, just people that are maybe already here in Montana uh, or already drink our coffee. We want to be constantly expanding on that, uh, on that audience. So in doing that, we're following people and uh, we're unfollowing people that are inactive. And the way we're doing that is, uh, so we'll go to the Montana uh, ambassadors page. Here's a post that we put out um, if you click on the left side of that post on the outside, it comes up and you'll see that there are four retweets and eight likes. So if you click on that, you're going to find the people that retweeted this post. Excuse me. These are people that are active, that are interested, and that are, are, are uh, finding your post, but maybe you're not following your page directly or you're not following them. So we can go ahead and look at them and we can follow them. 
you can do this on any page. So if you want someone that's related to your business, whether it's coffee or environmental issues or um, you know high tech, you can look at a at a post uh, and you can grab people or follow people that would have an interest in what you're doing. And we'll do that by you know searching. So if we search for Yellowstone on Twitter, it's going to bring up anybody that mentions the term Yellowstone. Um, so you get a nice picture there. You can go ahead and retweet that to your page because you like that. And then you can click on the left. You've got 206 people that like it. And you can go and you say, these are active people. And I want them to see what's on my wall and what I'm, um, what my passion is, what I'm selling as a product, and you can like them. As, uh, as time goes by, some of these people are going to like you and some of them are, uh, are not going to uh, like or follow you. So I'll use something like Tweepy, T-W-E-E-P-I, or uh, Manage Flitter is another one. Um, Tweets map. These are third-party uh, programs that uh, have paid for and free versions where you can go in and you can unfollow people that are either not interacting or haven't followed you for a long period of time to keep your ratio of followers and un, um, people follow and don't follow you in line. So you don't want to be following too many people without them following you back. Uh, and you don't want to be the opposite way as well. So I'm going to go to my tweets here. I'm going to go back to the Montana Ambassadors page. And as you can see, uh, when we started with the page uh, back in late April, there was about, about 400 followers. And through following other people, we've been able to get them to follow back and to keep our ratio of tweets and uh, following and followers kind of close. Uh, so we want to keep the content up, keep people interested um, and give them a reason to follow. And we also want to be sharing some of the, the content to the people we're following. So we're, we're uh, allowing that, inf that, that uh, benefit to the people that we're interacting with. So it's a long or kind of organic process of building trust uh, and relationships to get people interacting back and, and forth. So that's a little bit of a quick rundown on what we're doing with uh, our page at Morning Glory Coffee and the Montana Ambassadors. And again, keep sharing.